Hey everybody, this is how you're going to do your back dome test. There's three levels to it. There's back dome in a basic supine brace position, back dome on your head, and then back dome working your arms and legs towards straight. Again, whichever one that you're at, it is what it is, where you're at. How we want you to do it is not have any compromises to your form. So we want you to use yoga blocks when you're actually doing your test. Sometimes we don't use yoga blocks and it allows you a little bit more freedom to get bigger range in the movement. But when you do your test, uh, you're going to do it with yoga blocks between your feet and your knees. And I'll demonstrate that. But a big part of this is when you take your picture for your test, make sure it's from the side and, and whether you're on a timer or somebody's taking a picture of you, they can see you clearly, full body from the side. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the different levels. Stability level, folks, and everybody, you wanna bring your feet close to your butt. That's step one. Step two is you want your hands close to your shoulders. So here, like my, some people might need to lift your hips up in order to get your hands in the right position. Some people may not. It is what it is. Okay, from here, this, this here is the stability level position. So my hands are working towards flat. My hips are lifted as high as they can get. I'm trying to get my forearms towards parallel. Moving to strength level, you go up onto the top of the head. Again, I'm working my forearms in towards parallel. And I'm trying to lift my hips as high as I can. Power level is you're lifting arms and legs towards straight as best that you can. You take that picture at the top of your range of motion for your back dome. Now remember, when you're doing the test, put the blocks between your feet and your knees. It's going to diminish your range by about 25%. It's going to be much harder, but it will be much more efficient.